So our rundown farm that Hudson and I took over not that long ago, we've been working very, very hard on it. We've made tons of changes, which I'm excited to show you. But one thing is we are struggling. We are out of money. It's time to harvest. And this old junky harvester here, the John Deere 6600, we can't even afford it. So we made a deal with one of the dealerships here in town, the John Deere dealership. So what we're gonna do is our farm has, I think about 10 cows and we're gonna sell most of them to this man because he knows where an abandoned farm is where maybe we can find an old rundown combine because we can't afford one of the new ones. So we gotta turn one of the old ones into something we can work with. So I'm excited to check out that farm and show you guys the farm and what we've been doing. So very quickly, let's go to our farm, grab a bunch of cows, bring them over here and make the trade. But we gotta go check out the farm first. And if you guys could give this video a thumbs up just like that, every thumbs up you give adds a dollar to our back in my day bank account, which is at zero. So please give it some thumbs ups. We really need the money. We've been spending it all on our farm. We've been sleeping in our truck. That's how rough it has been, but our wheat is ready to harvest. So that is money. But if we can't harvest it, it's zero money. So we do have a trailer that we can harvest in, dump that into there, put it in our old silo, which probably has holes and everything else in it, but it's the best we have. We do have one tractor with one planter, but this is where we've been working very hard. It's up here at top. We did finally finish one barn, which I am very, very excited for. It's a nice barn. I, it's, it's the best thing on the property so far. The only thing we have though currently is a little old school mower. That's, that's all we have. We got rid of the dozer, we knocked down our house, we knocked down the old barn, we knocked down the cow pen, but look, we do have a nice little cow pen, but as you can tell too, we can't harvest hay. We have no way of harvesting hay. So all the grass, they're kind of eating it down and before too long, it's gonna turn into just dirt, just like this. So we're gonna sell a few of them. I wanna find a way to start making some hay here pretty soon. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Then go get us a combine and harvest that over there. So much to do and as always guys, in the comments down below, we need help with our farm. Let us know something we need to do, what you wanna see next. I will always choose one of your guys' comments to do what we do next on Back in My Day. So let's load this thing up with cows, get back to the dealership, trade it for a trailer and go check out the abandoned farm. And I'm hoping, I'm really hoping there's some good combines there. All right, so we have, what is this, five cows? Five cows in total loaded up in this trailer. And that's what we're gonna trade for an old rundown combine. I don't know if that's a good trade or a bad trade yet. Um, I guess we'll see when we get to the abandoned farm. Um, I, hopefully it's gonna be a good trade though. It's kind of scary. We didn't get to see it first. We get to see it after we make the trade. So hopefully he's not trying to trick us and we're getting a combine that doesn't work. Hopefully it's kind of similar to that John Deere over there because we really could use something. We are pulling into the John Deere dealership here and the five cows, sir. I'm gonna go ahead and I guess I'll just back it in there for him. Just stink up his whole place here. Oh, the tractor's in the way. I was gonna back it up in there and make this whole place stink because I feel like he's probably he's probably hurting us here, but I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, can I, I sneak this in there? Oh, look at that, guys. The best backer-upper of all time. There you go, sir. Stink out your whole place. That's what you get, unless you get us a good combine. If you're getting us a good combine, then I'll go ahead and move those out of there and I'll spray some Febreze in your shed to make it smell nice. I'm excited to go check out the abandoned farm though. See what we can get. Uh, hopefully there's something good. I meant anything there. He said, if it runs, we can have it. So the combine, I, it, it better run. I don't know. Hudson is a very good mechanic though. So whenever Hudson comes back, if it doesn't run, I'll have him fix it. He said it's on the other side of this little trees mountain thing over here. Okay, there's not even a road to this place. So that's not a good sign. That means this probably hasn't been used in a very, very long time. Where's our farm? Yes, our farm's right over there. So he's actually not too far from our farm. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I see a little shed that looks like it's about to fall apart. What's inside of this though? We're drifting in our truck. Um, two cars. Okay, not good. Not a good start here. I guess we'll start from what I guess used to be the house. So let's check this out. It looks like we have, okay, some bridges. I don't know why there's bridges. An old house with nothing in it. A rundown car. I actually would like a good car. Not like this, obviously, that doesn't have an engine or a door. It does have a door. It has no engines, no glass. There's nothing here to work with. We love race cars. We love classic cars, muscle cars, sports cars. So hopefully we can find something to work on. I don't know why I'm opening this. I feel like that's, okay, the light turns on. That's weird. Okay, yeah, with all the flies I'm hearing, I don't even need to look in there any further. Another junk car, some old silos, more junk cars. Ooh, looks like an old like windmill of some sort. Oh, they, uh, can I get inside here though? Uh, he has it all boarded up. Okay, so we can't get inside there. Wait, I see a combine in there. I do see a combine. Oh, this is a very old combine, oh no. Okay, is this the best combine we're gonna get? I don't even know what this is. It doesn't even have like a number. Oh, this is a very old combine. There's another car here though. So that one's flipped. Wait, so this car does start. Okay, so we do have us, 
I'm excited about that. Hudson is gonna love this too. We can transform this into an awesome race car. So I'm excited about that. That might be another way for us to make some money doing some races against other people in their old sports cars. That sounds like fun, so I'm excited about that. But now on to the Harvester with no cab. So we're gonna need a mask or some sort. Does it start though? It starts, there's no way. Oh, this is just very old school. <laughs> Look at our guy shifting gears down there. Oh no, okay. I wonder if this thing can actually harvest though. Oh, can I get down the hill? Okay, got down the hill. I don't know if this thing can actually harvest. Does the header turn on? It does, does it lower? It does, okay, we're gonna go back to the farm right now load this up on the trailer and i'm excited to put this thing to work hopefully it works it can't hold very much grain though that grain bin is like the size of a bucket so it's not going to hold very much grain but we do have that trailer we can keep dumping it into so i'm excited about that this will be our first real time making money on this farm again we've done a lot of spending money but now it's time to finally start making money hopefully start buying some brand new tractors which as you always know i need your guys help on that what's the next tractor for the farm we need more tractors. We don't really have any tractors and we need something that can drive up a trailer. So I guess I'm gonna try and back this up now because I can't drive it on Ford. All right, I feel like our tire's about to fall off any second. Oh, back tires, you gotta get on the ramps, dude. Come on, back tires, get on the ramp. Oh no, come on. I really don't wanna drive this thing all the way to our farm. It goes like two mile an hour. It will take us an actual year to get there. Oh, there we go, perfect. Oh, don't fall off, don't fall off. Okay, quickly strap this thing down, strap her down. Get it all strapped down. There we go. I think we're good to go now. We will have to come back though. I wanna come back and get that race car at some point. I'll, maybe we'll hide that for Hudson. Then maybe that's what we do next. We hide this somewhere. Say we have a surprise. Hide that good old fashioned race car. I already know he's gonna to paint it red. He's gonna put huge tires, a huge engine in it. I already know him, but we can make it fast and win some money doing that. But for now, let's take this back, get to harvesting and hopefully make some money. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> And on top of all this, I have already told you guys, we do need a new truck. This truck, it's just not cutting it. It doesn't pull stuff very well. It's small. It struggles with everything. It, it can hardly pull this harvester. And I know this harvester doesn't weigh a lot. We are finally pulling up back to our farm here. We have less cows, which I'm sad about. I know Hudson's gonna be sad about that too. We are down to only three cows, but we do have a way to make money now that's harvesting. So we can always buy more cows. It is now time to test out, does the harvester work? I'm excited and I'm scared for this. Because if it doesn't work, I think back in my day is ruined. So we've spent every last bit that we have. I guess we could sell a tractor, but if we sell a tractor, then what? Then what do we have? We have nothing. I don't know how much we're gonna make from all this wheat. It's not a very big wheat field, but anything is better than nothing currently. Does it work? It does work. Okay, thank you. That's gonna save us. I feel like we're doing good now. It's gonna take us about a year to harvest this little bitty field though. The header on this thing is so tiny. It's gonna take forever. I wonder if I can hire somebody and pay them in like, I don't know, what could I pay them? I don't have nothing really to pay them with. I guess I could pay them with some wheat. Just give them like some wheat in a bucket or something. All right, so I really need the help. I'm gonna go ahead and hire you. There you go, buddy. I'm gonna pay you 10% of whatever we make on this field. Thank you. I need to get the tractor with the planter on it and throw that trailer on it so he can start unloading into that trailer because I know it's not gonna hold very much wheat. All right, tractor, come on. We gotta hook up to that trailer. I bet you he's already full. One pass and he's probably already full. So we gotta hurry. I don't want him waiting on us. We're paying him. And we have zero dollars in our bank account. So that's not a good, that's not a good combination right there. Hopefully this trailer doesn't have any holes. I didn't really inspect it. Is this pipe on this side? It is on this side, perfect. All right, I know you're probably already full. Go ahead and extend that pipe out. I don't even know if that pipe can reach this thing. Oh no. Can the pipe even reach inside this trailer? Oh no, it can't. Oh no, what are we gonna do now? The pipe doesn't reach in the trailer. Um, wait, don't we dump it. Oh, he can dump it in my bucket? Is that the strategy? Is that what we're doing now? Does that work? Oh, it does. We found the new strategy. We can't get it into the trailer. So we'll fill it inside this bucket and then dump it into our trailer. I guess that's better than nothing. It's really the only way we can do this. It's kind of hard to keep the same speed as him though. Wait, can you just stop moving please for one second? Sir, I'm asking you to stop driving. Thank you. Just wait. Just give us a second. Okay, good enough. Thank you. All right, now let's go ahead and just unload this into the trailer. It's kind of all we can do. This is what you, this is the stuff you gotta do if you wanna make it. You don't have a trailer that's small enough. You don't have a harvester that's big enough, but you just gotta make it work. Go ahead and dump that in there, come on. Oh, gotta raise it a little bit more. We cannot spill this, this is precious. There we go. Dump it all in there, there we go. We're making money. Well, not yet, we gotta sell it. After we sell it, we have made some money, but at least we have some way to do this, which is a plus, there we go. All right. I might as well just come back for another load. I bet you he's already full and this bucket doesn't hold very much. So we're gonna be doing this pretty much all day long. 
So I'm going to go grab another load for this man. I'm going to be here all day doing this. If you guys enjoyed the video, get a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let me know down in the comments what is next for this farm. What do we need to buy? What do we need to harvest? What do we need to plant? Please let me know. And we have a lot more fun things coming on back in my day. So thank you guys. And until next time, make sure you thumbs up, like, subscribe, watch for our videos. Bye.